the motif that I had from Invisible Man with speeches, and the speeches I am gives throughout the story changes, like who he is, how he's conveying himself. So in the novel, the speeches are used to convey how he feels, and it kind of shows how he's changing as a person. My first example of one of the speeches is during the Battle Royale on page 30 where he gives this speech that no one's really listening to, but he gives it with all he can anyways. So he says, To those of my race who depend upon bettering their condition in a foreign land or who underestimate the importance of cultivating friendly relations with a southern white man who is his next door neighbor, I would say cast down your bucket where you are. Cast it down and making friends in every manly way of people of all races by whom we are surrounded. So the other men in the place are just kind of talking and laughing. No one's really paying attention. And I am kind of starts getting a little irritated. So he says social responsibility and they're kind of teasing him saying, what did you say? And he says social equality and then like all hell breaks loose. Everyone just stops what they're doing and they're like, what did you just say? And I am immediately takes it back and says, I said social responsibility, of course, but he didn't. He meant social equality. That's like a little slip of what he feels but he takes it back so he doesn't really want to really convey himself fully yet my second example of the speech motif is the speech he gives during the eviction so he says we are dispossessed dispossessed and we want to pray and then later on he says we're law abiding so clear the street of the debris so it's kind of ironic and a little sarcastic the fact that he's saying we have to move everything back into the building because we're breaking the law by having things out inside blocking the street so he's kind of like being a sarcastic little bit to the people but he this one's more important in conveying what he believes because he's like this is happening to me and i'm not okay with it so he's kind of fighting back a little bit with all he can and later on a man in the chapter goes up to him and says i really admire your speech and i think this is like the first time that he actually gets appraisal for it so he's but first he's a little confused he's like what speech but they're he, he's like i really admire your talent for it the third speech motif is on page 344 and this is when he's giving a speech to a big crowd of people and he says let's reclaim our sight let's combine and spread our vision so he's this speech is really passionate for him because he really relates to this he's not only sticking up for the people in the crowds but he's also sticking up for people for himself and the people so he's saying let's not let these people control us like this we're humans too let's not be blinded by them so he really goes all out in this but at the same time the brotherhood's still watching him so he still can't fully convey what he wants to so he still has to watch what he's saying the final speech motif is on page 450 and this is when Todd Clifton dies and this speech is also very passionate however it's a little more in depth than the third one. So the example on page 456 is he bled and he died. He fell in a heap like any man and his blood spilled out like any blood, red as any blood wet as any blood and reflecting the sky in the buildings and birds and trees or your face if you'd look into its dulling mirror so this speech was really bad for the brotherhood they really went out all out on him saying it was too personal so he knew todd clifton he felt close to todd clifton and so he was really upset when he passed away so all his emotions came out he's saying this is a man that was died that was killed he was killed and then something has to be done by it but the brotherhood said um that it wasn't okay it was too personal not scientific not like their methods at all and it was just not okay what he was saying however i am like i believe what i said he's really sticks to it this speech is really the most important one in my opinion because he really defends what he says and he believes and he kind of starts realizing like what the brotherhood's doing it's a little not okay this is my visual for the speech motif the animals in the pack re represent the crowd of people he speaks to. This is I am. He's blindfolded. And here's his little microphone getting ready to do his speech. So I blindfolded I am because when he's giving his speeches, the people don't really know who he is on the inside. So they can only go off based of what he's saying, but they can't really see what's actually in his mind. So 
anything that he says is kind of like a facade he puts up because they don't really know who he actually is personally. So he's blindfolded because it kind of represents a mask. Little by little, the speeches reveal who he is as a person. So as time goes on, the mask will slowly be removed. The mask has been removed because in his last speech, he really reveals how he feels about Todd Clifton and the people are really listening to and debt of what he's saying however even the brotherhood doesn't accept what he says but they see him for who he is not blindfolded at all a central theme that my motif develops is that you have to go through experiences before you're able to find your true identity and speak up in the beginning of the novel he wasn't really fighting for anything he was just speaking really and towards the end he finally is able to show how he feels he doesn't even realize how he feels he's able to say these speeches without even realizing what he, the meaning of what he's saying i am was afraid to speak for what he believed in because the brother who was constantly watching him or someone was constantly judging him over something but towards the end he just stopped caring because he went through all this stuff and he deserved to say what he needed to say, and he stood by what he said 100%.